Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on the Learn CSS Colors by building a set of colored markers on FreeCodeCamp. So step 71 is to create a new CSS rule that targets the sleeve class. So sleeve, and we want to set the width to 110 pixels and the height like so to 25 pixels like that. And let's check that code and perfect, it's all passed. So step 72, to make the marker look more realistic, give the sleeve a transparent white. So we want to do background dash color, and that will be white. Let's check that code. Cool. And you can see something's um, happened there already. So opacity describes how opaque or non-transparent something is. So for example, a solid wall is opaque because no light can pass through it but a drinking glass is much more transparent and you can see through the glass to the other side. So in a similar in a fashion, there is an opacity rule, uh, opacity like so, and they want us to set it to 0.5 <clears throat> and you can see it's on a scale of zero to one, <clears throat> sorry, zero to one. So zero being 0% and one is 100%. And you can see here 0.5 is effectively half the opacity. So now we can see the red behind um, sort of the sleeve here. So another way to set opacity for an element is with the alpha channel. And this also basically does the same thing. It controls how opaque or transparent a color is. And so basically, because we've set a color here, we can actually remove this opacity for now. And we'll be setting it on the color itself. So as you can see here, do have a read through this on step 75. Um, but with all of these, so RGB, for example, you can also pass in actually the alpha channel, so RGBA, and that will control how opaque um, the color is. So for example, if we want to set it to pure white with a 50% opacity, um, we're going to do RGB, and I believe it's 0, 0, 0, and then 50%. And sorry, that's actually black, so it would be 255, 255, 255. I think that's then white, pure white, with the 50% opacity. There we go. Cool, so step 76, the sleeve is looking good, but it would look even better if it was positioned more towards the right side of the marker. So one way to do that is to add another element before the sleeve to push it to the right add a new div with the class of cap before the sleeve div element. So let's do that and we'll close off the div and we'll just give it a class of cap like so. Okay, so create a new CSS rule to target the class of cap. So like that, I'm going to do a width of 60 pixels and a height to match of 25 pixels. There we go. Now, as you can see, it looks like the sleeve has disappeared, but don't worry, it's still there. What happened is the new cap is taking up the entire space of the marker, and it essentially pushes the sleeve uh, down to the next line. So because the default display property for a div is block, so when two block elements are next to each other, um, they stack like blocks rather than the alternative, which would be inline. So here we just want to make a new rule to target both uh, the cap and sleeve. So I'll do dot cap and comma dot sleeve, and we'll give it a display of inline dash block. And there we go. Now we can see it's on the on the same line here. Okay. Step 76, in the last project, you learned a little bit about borders and the border color property. All HTML elements have borders, although they're usually set to none by default. With CSS, you control all aspects of an element's border and set the border on all sides or just one at a time. For a border to be visible, you need to set its width and height, uh, sorry, width and style. So in the dot sleeve CSS, we can do a border dash left dash width and that will be at 10 pixels. Okay. <clears throat> and finally, step 80. Borders has several styles to choose from. You can choose a solid line. You could have dashed or dotted. 
Um, but generally solid, yeah, are the most commonly used, um, certainly within sort of web design and front end um, web development. So border left style, border dash left dash style, and we'll give that solid like that. And there you go. You can see that solid border here of 10 pixels and it's black because I guess that is the background of the page or maybe there's another a rule there, um, style property, but anyhow. Cool. So I think we'll leave it there for this video. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one.